When a cannon can precisely target and destroy a tank from over 100 kilometers away, yet the turret is completely unmanned, how will such a battlefield ghost revolutionize the rules of land warfare? In the northwest desert, where sand swirls endlessly, a massive steel cannon with an unprecedented seven-road wheel chassis raises its long barrel. This is not a simple upgrade of the Type 05 howitzer, but China's military industry's response to the harsh lessons of modern battlefields. The next generation 155mm track self-propelled howitzer. It combines unprecedented stability, unmanned intelligent operation, and precision strikes at distances of over 100 kilometers, targeting the replacement of the remaining Type 66 towed howitzers and early Type 05 howitzers in the Army's heavy composite brigades, and becoming the firepower core and survival benchmark in future high-intensity conflicts, abandoning the traditional six-road wheel design of the Type 05 series and adopting seven road wheels is a well-considered engineering revolution. The core value lies in the significant improvement in stability, the ground contact area is conservatively estimated to have increased by over 15 percent, resulting in a sharp decrease in ground pressure. Combined with advanced hydraulic suspension and fire control systems, even when traversing at nearly 60 km per hour, barrel vibration is strictly suppressed within 0.1 mils, meaning a theoretical deviation of only 1 meter at a 10 km range. This lays the physical foundation for extreme precision in shooting on the move and quick strike and rapid withdrawal. Supporting the nearly 50-ton combat weight is a powerful 1,100-kilowatt transverse diesel engine, with power output increased by over 40% compared to the 05A, and a high-altitude power retention rate of 95%, ensuring all-terrain reach and all-terrain combat capability. The longer chassis optimizes internal space. A vertical modular ammunition compartment accommodates over 30 individually packaged rounds, with automated management ensuring sustained firepower, simultaneously enhancing crew protection, comfort, and fuel capacity, thereby boosting strategic mobility. The unmanned turret is not simply about removing crew members. It represents a reconfiguration of battlefield survival philosophy. The Russia-Ukraine battlefield has brutally demonstrated that evacuating a towed gun takes over 30 minutes, effectively amounting to suicide. The new design relocates all turret crew members to the heavily armored compartment at the front of the vehicle, controlled via electro-optical sighting systems, large touch screens, and an integrated fire control computer. The driver focuses on maneuverability, while the commander acts as the tactical brain, simply tapping, one button aiming to activate the fire control AI, which instantly completes target analysis, ballistic calculations, and fuse settings. From target detection to the first round being fired, the entire process is compressed to an astonishing 15 seconds. The quick fire, quick retreat capability is even more revolutionary, firing within three seconds after an emergency stop and rapidly retracting the gun and withdrawing after firing. This speed leaves traditional five six-person gun crews in the dust, significantly reducing the effectiveness of enemy counter-battery radar. More importantly, the unmanned turret completely eliminates the risk of crew members being directly killed by top attack munitions, making it the strongest response to drone threats. The inherited and potentially upgraded long barrel provides high muzzle velocity and long range, but the true deterrent lies in the perfect synergy between munitions and fire control. The ammunition compartment is compatible with standard shells, rocket-assisted extended-range shells, and a large number of Baidu, inertial composite guided shells and proximity fuse shells. After leaving the barrel, the shells deploy glide wings, with Baidu 3 signals continuously correcting the trajectory, easily achieving a SEP of less than 1 meter at the 100-kilometer level equivalent to precisely hitting a mineral water bottle on Tiananmen Square from the meridian gate of the Forbidden City. During exercises, a drone transmitted the coordinates of an armored formation 15 kilometers away. Three dual-mode seeker-guided proximity fuse shells roared into the sky, and within 10 seconds, the turret tops of three target vehicles simultaneously exploded. The capability to achieve multiple simultaneous hits is supported by a chain-driven ammunition feeder or high-precision robotic arm enabling a sustained firing rate of 8 rounds per minute and a burst firing rate of 4 rounds within 15 seconds, with loading accuracy at the 0.02 mm level. This completely eliminates the need for manual labor, with firepower density and sustainability unmatched globally. The new artillery system's power stems from its role as a key node in the PLA's integrated joint kill chain. It seamlessly integrates into the Battlefield Awareness Network, the WZ-78's unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, Conduct Wide Area Reconnaissance. New vehicle-mounted counter-artillery radars detect thermal signals and ballistic trajectories, 
reconnaissance satellites provide strategic intelligence, and high-speed anti-jamming data links instantly transmit information. The Fire Control Eye possesses multi-source information fusion and target prioritization capabilities, automatically filtering out low-value targets. Comparison with the Russia-Ukraine battlefield, the Russian military's penicillin system sees its effectiveness reduced under complex interference. The Ukrainian military relies on Western radars combined with HIMARS to destroy a large number of Russian artillery pieces daily. The new Chinese artillery's survival strategy has evolved to a higher dimension. Before firing, it receives preset evacuation routes via data links. Before the shells land, the system has already planned the optimal evacuation path. When enemy counterattacking shells cover the original position, it has already maneuvered to a safe zone three kilometers away using its powerful off-road mobility. This intelligent guerrilla warfare strategy of hit and run, then run and hit again, makes it the hardest to capture battlefield ghost. When compared horizontally, the disruptive nature of China's new artillery is immediately apparent. Range disparity. The USM-109 A7 rocket-assisted extended range shell has a range of 40 kilometers. The German PZH-2000 reaches a maximum of 60 kilometers. The Russian 2S-19 only 30 kilometers, while China's Baidu-guided artillery shell surpass 100 kilometers. Firepower density superiority. The German PZH-2000 requires manual reloading assistance. The Italian, Volcano, has a firing rate of 6 rounds per minute, while China's system maintains 8 rounds per minute and can achieve a burst rate of 16 rounds per minute. Survival Capability Enhancement Unmanned turrets, ultra-fast response, intelligent withdrawal, and information superiority result in battlefield survival rates, far exceeding those of traditional artillery. Cost and Production Capacity Dominance the US M109 A7 costs over $25 million United States dollars per unit, while China's SH-16 export version with comparable technology costs less than half that. China's annual production capacity for 155mm artillery barrels and precision ammunition ranks among the top three globally, with a complete and self-reliant supply chain. In contrast, the German PZH-2000 face delivery delays due to supply chain disruptions. While China possesses the absolute strategic advantage of rapid large-scale production and replenishment during wartime, the Russia-Ukraine battlefield is the harshest testing ground for modern artillery, and its lessons deeply validate new artillery design concepts. Time is life. Ukraine's Bodana Wild Artillery has a range of 60 kilometers but monthly production is only 20 units, with difficulties in localization. Highlighting the challenges of high-end weapon production capacity in wartime, detect and destroy, Russia's latest, Eagle AV, counter-artillery radar was precisely destroyed by HIMARS within six hours of deployment on the front lines, resulting in losses equivalent to four Su-34 fighter jets. The harsh reality demonstrates that the survival of modern artillery depends on compressing the detection decision strike withdrawal cycle to its absolute limit. China's new generation 155mm artillery achieves the ultimate in core performance metrics, 15-second reaction time, 3-second firing readiness, and intelligent withdrawal, reflecting the most precise understanding of battlefield ironclad rules. It is not merely a weapon but the ultimate projection of a highly informatized, automated, and networked combat system at the front lines. From the 66-type towed artillery's 17-kilometer range to the 83-type addressing the existence or absence issue, the 05-type laying the foundation, and today's seven-wheeled artillery defining future standards with unmanned intelligence and 100-kilometer precision strikes, China's army fire support has undergone a transformative leap. Those seven sets of road wheels rolling across the Gobi Desert are in essence, redrawing the geopolitical boundaries of land warfare capabilities. When the 2025 Victory Day Parade unveils its veil, and when heavy composite brigades in strategic regions like Xinjiang and Tibet are equipped with it, by around 2027, the world will witness the scepter of the artillery king. Guided by the brilliance of the Baidu stars, is quietly and firmly being transferred to the east. The roar of this giant cannon heralds the dawn of a new era of long-range precision firepower for the Chinese army.